Oh my gosh. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Good morning. I'm staying in my friend's place and it's literally stretching right there. And all of a sudden, water just started pouring out. I heard all this water from like a, like a bath or something. Oh yeah. Whoa. Uh, there's really not too much that I can do. I'm unplugging all the cords. Welcome to Nekohama's vlog. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, what a morning. Hello? Anybody can help? Here are the shop backs. Still coming through. Let me pull all this stuff out. Now, I gotta go get my Japanese passport. <laughs> That was probably the nuttiest start to a morning I've had in a very long time. While I was trying to get all the water out of there, I slipped in the massive puddle in the hallway and I landed on my left side and on my wrist. My left side is really locked up. So after I go to the Japan consulate, I'm gonna try to find a place to get checked out because this does not feel good. Okay, let's see. Let's do a test. Getting injured sucks. So anyway, we're in New York, it's raining. We're gonna turn this day around. We got onboarding 14 new partners today. We're gonna make matcha with one arm today. <laughs> All right, so I just got my ticket and this is an exciting day. During the pandemic, I let my passport uh, expire and my mother and I had to go through a ton of work to figure out a way to basically all the paperwork to prove that I was a Japanese citizen and I can continue to keep one foot in America and uh, the other one in Japan because that is really where my heart is. Is this your first time here? Uh, no, no. I can't take you back with me, but I'll see you when I get my passport. I am heading to lunch with one of San and I's old friends who wasn't able to make it to the wedding. It's gonna be the first time that we're seeing each other. It's last summer, actually, since well, actually, no, 2021, when Daphne and uh, our friend Justin got married in Italy, so it's gonna be nice. This is my first time visiting your fish bar. If you're in New York, you should definitely hit this place up. It's been open for about 20 years, and the food here was just incredible. After this, I have training for 14 cafes. It's gonna be a big one. I won't have the use of my left arm, um, so it's gonna be an interesting whisking process to teach them. But anyway, it's been fun. I just got to the moxie. It's starting to rain even harder. My backpack is drenched. I hope my laptop's all right, but let me show you. This is the Moxie Hotel here. We're not working with them, but this is where we're leaving the training. So I'll take you inside and show you what it looks like. cafe in the same building, so I'm in the right place. Now I just need to find it. And this elevator doesn't work. It's right next to it. I was at the wrong entrance. So this is Cafe d'Avignon here. And it's location Midtown. And you can see everyone's in there waiting, so I gotta rush in. That was so much fun. That was a two hour training. I got the chance to speak to everyone on the team. And that's something that is so important because when I'm able to share my passion and the love I have for not just what we do, but for the history of matcha and just the innovation that we're bringing in to the industry. I don't know, it just lights me up and I get so freaking excited. I will say this about today. I talk about loneliness and feeling alone in this process and with the partners that we work with, you know, we try to work with and find people that we really enjoy spending time with. Now that we have more partners in different cities, whenever I'm there, even though Jason and Sana aren't with me, I, uh, I don't feel lonely. I actually, I feel very, I don't know, I feel at home. If there's an Equal um, in a space, um, I don't know, for some reason it just, makes me feel like uh, I'm in the right place. So, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think what I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm starting to feel a lot less lonely being alone because I'm surrounded by amazing people everywhere I go. 
And that's just a really great feeling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dr. Bachner's office, who uh, used to put me back together. He's a chiropractor that's friends with a good friend of mine, and Nico. He's gonna take a look at me. You know, it's after hours. He was nice enough to say yes. So thank you to our friends Nico and uh, Philippa for uh, making the connection. So my right hand is all good. It is much looser, but I had to try to get some blood flow in there. So I put some kinesio tape on my shoulder. So. Now it's a little bit less tender, so I can raise it up. He said, don't wear a backpack, so I guess I have to take a car to Soho where I will be staying because where I was staying before it got absolutely flooded. I think I was taking the fact that I didn't have a lot of body pain for granted. And this is a, a wake up call that uh, being able to do the things I do physically in this body is uh, something I have to appreciate. Anyway, I'm gonna head down to Soho tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be relaxing. All right.